I am Ram Krishna Prasad. Uh, I am better known as RKP. Uh, my full name is something that was forgotten long ago. Ram Krishna Prasad just became RKP, sir. They just call me RKP, all my students across the country. I am senior faculty of English, uh, now associated with Anil Nair classes. I have been teaching this language, English language, and uh, communication skills, uh, group discussion skills, interview skills, what not. Anything associated with English, critical reasoning and whatever. For the past 40 plus years, yeah, very long, very long. My entire life has been English, okay. Teaching different types of students from different language backgrounds and so on. I don't know all languages in this country, please understand this. I know English very well, no issues at all. And how to simplify that, those things we know. And I am reasonably quite good at Hindi and I am surely good at my mother tongue Telugu. Other languages, a little bit here and there because I, I taught there, I have just picked up one or two words, a few words, that's it. Now, after all these years of experience, 40 plus years, I have seen that many of the boys and the girls who write competitive exams, you know, starting from CAT or bank exams, PO, schools, wherever. There is a section in English verbal ability there, in verbal ability, there is a particular section called reading comprehension, right, reading comprehension. Let me tell you a few things about that area now, reading comprehension. What is it actually? You are given a long passage followed by questions, followed by options. First thing is you must understand the concept. You, it is reading comprehension. First understand what is reading how to read fast. These are all things that I am going to teach you. I am going to take all the English sessions, whether it is vocabulary, whether grammar, reading comprehension, critical reasoning, whatever. I am personally going to teach. Then, what is reading? Difference between reading and studying. Next thing is, what is comprehension? Comprehension means understand, simply. A simple meaning for that is understanding. So, you are expected to read that passage faster understand the main points, pick up the main points, then look at the questions and answer them. It sounds easy, doesn't it? Sir, here I need not do anything, the passage is there, questions are there, but the point is, the content of the passage might not be familiar to you. See, kindly understand this, supposing the passage, the given passage is talking about uh, surrealism, Salvador Dali, uh, the man, Surrealism, you know, form of abstract modern art and so on. Suppose you don't know what it is, yeah, when you get stuck, okay, because you don't know the concept at all. So, how to become good at comprehension? Fundamentally, you must have habits of wide reading. Wide reading ka matlab, you know, sir, I will read only crime fiction, I will read only adventure, no, right. Whatever you can lay your hands on, please read, number one, because then your language will develop, number one. Your knowledge of various issues will develop, okay. If you read some book of philosophy or something, you will understand basic concepts of different philosophies. That is enough. I do not want you to become a philosopher. No, no, no. Basic concepts, okay. Ah, what to read and how to go about is something that we will deal with in the classes. Right. How it can be done in a simple manner, saving time. See, many people do not have this time. That is a big factor. Okay. Particularly if you are working, you are a working professional. Right. Uh, it is a time factor is a big deal for them. Because, I mean, they have to work on one hand. Right. Maybe in IT sector or in government, somewhere they are working. Right. And then they have to face this CAT or whatever exam. So kindly understand this, balancing these two things and managing time is something that we have to learn. Uh, we will talk about that in detail in the classes to come, right. So you must have basic knowledge of different areas, different types of uh, uh, topics if you want to be faster in solving questions related to reading comprehension. That is number one, right. So, at least, you know, you should be read 
you should you should read at least one standard newspaper in english every day particularly the editors pages editorials see generally my boys and girls they commonly come and tell me sir you are asking us to read the editors pages they are boring sir you don't expect the editor to write uh, an adventure story or some thrill in the world right what happens see some event takes place that is reported on the front page very important events the editor of the newspaper picks that and tries to present his views analytically so you understand how to analyze issues number one how there can be the background knowledge to that aspect right background knowledge say for example we say supposing you get you get a uh, um, some passage dealing with uh, the conflict between russia and ukraine you should at least know where they are why the conflict came up why is the war going on right so if you know the background then you will feel comfortable you feel like reading the passage because you will develop that interest you will develop that passion yeah so if you don't know anything about ukraine or anything about russia and why they are fighting and all that then you are in trouble right see the gaza strip and israel what is happening there okay what is hamas guys right if you have that curiosity it is called constructive curiosity constructive curiosity and not useless curiosity curiosity useless curious curiosity is like you know what's the neighbor's wife doing none of your business huh right read something that is useful to you okay that is going to be useful okay you should have, if you have that knowledge better knowledge is power a person who has knowledge of various areas will be highly respected i am telling you this um, with um, since i have gone through a lot of life right please understand okay i have seen in the past 45 to 50 years i am 66 yeah yeah right when you widen the scope of your knowledge right people will admire you they respect you right they know look i can turn to this man if i get a doubt okay so please understand this it helps you it helps others it develops your image in the society wide reading wide reading don't have taste sir i like this i don't like this no way it's like eating something is cooked and served better you taste it it tastes good right eat it finished don't ask about its background and all that why ha huh? it tastes good na eat it so if you read something you should not have any taste okay boss let me read slowly you will develop that liking towards that are yaar philosophy is so interesting huh? i never thought philosophy was interesting this kind of thing right so i am not asking you to read classics and all that no right general reading particularly a standard english newspaper completely and more so the editors pages the initial stages will be slightly boring i understand but get used to it please get used to it okay right kindly understand this sometimes you know good habits are like bad habits also right certain bad habits in the beginning it's difficult once you get used to it you fall in love with it yeah smoking drinking this all thing yeah you get used to it reading is also like that i mean it's a terrible comparison i'm making but still it is like that in the beginning it will be slightly boring because why all these years you never had this habit now suddenly one young old man comes and tells you look boss if you don't read wide uh, different types of books and all that if you don't read a newspaper editors pages and all that facing reading comprehension is next to impossible because the passages can be on anything so to be comfortable with the content of the passage your wide reading will help you secondly you must improve your vocabulary which anyway we are going to teach you i will take a lot of vocabulary classes right how to learn words simple ways of learning words and so on then you should know grammatical structures how to understand sentences what is exactly the meaning right so please understand this 
certain small structures right unlike his father he is very intelligent what does it mean it means the father is not intelligent but this young man is intelligent unlike his father not like his father he is intelligent his father is not so intelligent as the son is so the structures of sentences and so on then different types of questions that are given on reading comprehension there can be see broadly speaking questions come under these categories first thing what is stated in the passage the points which are openly stated in the passage okay secondly questions based on what is not stated in the passage which of the following is not true according to the passage thirdly inference based questions what you can understand right what do you think is the mood of the writer what do you think is the tone of the passage what do you think can be an appropriate title to this passage how to answer these questions how to identify points this is what this is where we come in i in ias classes rkp comes in right i will show you the simplest ways of doing comprehension of solving comprehension passages see i have been doing this right please understand passages given in the cat for example are quite tough yeah heavy stuff the c sat heavy stuff like this right some exams they give you very small passages just two three questions it all depends you know the standard of the passages will depend on the standard of the exam that's all right so what that exam is seeking from you that's what will be tested there so kindly understand this okay so these are three broad types of questions what is what the writer says what is stated what is not stated what the writer does not say and inference means what the writer is trying to say what can how can you interpret right when you read that these are broad types there are many other questions right what are, what can be an assumption here what can be the, the indirect questions right we will deal with all these things in detail in detail right i won't leave a single detail also see that is why perhaps i could be successful so far for 40 years you know in teaching english right yes right i am very happy when a student of mine 30 years ago he recognizes me today and says sir good morning how are you sir i was your student 30 years ago it makes a teacher so happy right as uh, sir i am now well settled sir that this see that's enough right i could be of some use to him right in settling down well and i can be of use to you all of you right in achieving your goals so kindly understand i will teach you different ways of solving reading comprehension right and solving passages all right but please remember you must have wide reading okay you must have this reading facility you understand you must make time this will make you a complete person all right start reading ha huh? believe in yourself start reading man right you can just tell yourself i can that's it how can you Sim- we will tell you simple methods right i will teach you everything okay right good luck have a very happy successful new year